Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to set myself a little bit of a challenge. You see, I've gone out and I've bought some bedside tables off Facebook Marketplace, and I've broken my golden rule. I bought it with a bit of damage. There's a bit of mark and, and some damage. It's not in great condition, and normally I would pass on it. There's three rules. One, it needs to be no damage. Two, it needs to be around 50 bucks so I can make some money on it. Number three, it needs to be solid wood. Now, two of those three were ticked today, but the damage was there, but I've gone ahead and I've bought it anyway. I reckon we can turn this into $150. $50. We can make 100 bucks on it. I bought it for 40 and I want to sell it for 150 but There's going to be some work that I'm going to have to put into it. And I want to bring you guys along for the ride to show you that if you put a little bit of time and effort into these sorts of things, there is money to be made. Now, right now, you're going to see these bedside tables in a second. My personal opinion is they are only worth the $40 that I've paid for it. But I think this afternoon, if I put an hour or two into it, I'm going to be able to list it for 150 and make that $100 profit. So come along for the ride. I'm going to shoot back home. We're going to get straight into it today. I'm going to roll the sleeves up and do a bit of work. So come along for the ride. Here it is, guys and girls, the bedside tables. Now, I paid just $40 for these, and look at the top surface on that. Normally, I would never even look at that, but I really do see the opportunity in this one. If I can just sand down the top, I think it's going to really go a long way to making this thing worthwhile. Um, a lot of other little bits and pieces to this as well that I really liked. It was the drawers. If you have a look there, the timber slats within the drawers, I think that's a really good telltale sign for a quality make. And also this dovetail joinery, I always look for that when I'm buying my pieces of furniture because that is yet another telltale sign. So timber slats on the back, this was really all kind of ticking the boxes. It was really just that top surface that was sort of really not entertaining me at all. A little bit dirty as well, so we're gonna to have to give this one a really good clean, but I just see the opportunity in it. So let's get to work and try and make ourselves a hundred dollars profit. Now, to get the job done, I'm going to be using a couple of sanding sheets, uh, Azito sheets, you can pick these up in Bunnings, a few different gradients that you can use, the 60, the 80, the 120, I'm going to be using all of those today to get it down to a nice smooth finish, and I'll just use a hand grinder or a hand sander, a really cheap one, you can pick it up from Bunnings, so let's get started. Just 15 minutes later, things are starting to look a whole lot better. I've taken the sander right over the top surface and it's looking really good underneath. I go ahead and I give it the water treatment here. So I'm basically just putting a cloth over the top and taking off any loose dust. What I'm looking at here is basically how it's gonna look when I oil it down right at the very end of the process. And what I'm looking for is just a nice even coloring, which is definitely what I'm seeing here. So I don't think we're gonna to have to do too much more sanding on this one. I think it's time to give it a really, really good clean. Now to do my cleaning, I use Sealy's Sugar Soap and you just need a lid's worth into some hot water, get a little rag and then make sure you cover every single piece of the furniture. It does a really, really good job. You've just got to make sure you scrub every little bit. So let's get cleaning. Now this is my favorite part of the process. This is where we get the Osida furniture polish and we just put one or two drops on a rag and we lightly cover the entire surface of the piece of furniture. It really goes a long way to making your photos stand out to have that really glossy type look. So if you're not using this stuff and you are flipping furniture, definitely get your hands on it linked in the description below. Keep 
We are done, guys. Here is the finished product. And as you can see, the sanding of the tops has really blended in well once I've put the polish over the top of it. And you'll also see here in the sunlight as well, it really kind of glistens. And that's the effect that the polish has that I was talking about earlier. I've obviously put the sugar soap into it as well, so I've been able to clean it really, really well. But I'm really happy with the way these tops have been sanded down because they weren't looking really good at the start of the day. But now I think they're ready to go and re sell. Um, I did get into the drawers as well and I gave them a bit of a clean, but in all honesty, the drawers were pretty good. I've just taken a bit of dust out of it, used some sugar soap, and that was pretty much that. So let me know in the comments, do you think that we can get 150 for this one? I should say as well that varnish is something that I use every now and again. I haven't used the varnish yet on this furniture piece. Um, I'll basically just try and sell this one and let the buyer know that they might want to put a coat or two on. Um, if you wanted to when you're flipping furniture, you could put a coat of varnish on. Very easy to get your hands on at Bunnings. I go ahead and I'll take my photos now. Uh, we'll get this one up onto Facebook Marketplace this afternoon and hope for a really quick sale. I'll just take photos of every single angle, one in a stage position, and then I'll take a photo of the pair and let everyone know that the, uh, the purchase is for the two of them. So really important to stage your pieces of furniture and uh, yeah, let's get this one sold. And there you have it guys, all done and dusted, photos taken, the listing is up and hopefully this one can sell within just a couple of days time. It was really not a lot of work, it didn't take me too long. We started at about two o'clock this afternoon, it's now about 4.30, so it's taken me two and a half hours to get it to this point. And really from what it was to what it is, a little effort has gone a long way and hopefully this one can sell for 140 and we can make $100 profit on it, which is what I like to do for all my furniture pieces. So go out there, find some furniture, touch it up as we've just done today. Use the stuff that I'm using because it certainly does work and uh, get those items sold. Make those couple of hundred dollars on these furniture pieces because it's always out there on Facebook Marketplace. You've just got to put in a little bit of time and effort and the results do come. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'll let you know in a what's sold video if this one sells, which I'm sure it will. It will just be a matter of time. So remember to give the video a like if you got anything out of it. It's a great way to help support the channel. I'll be doing a trip to the thrift video on Thursday as always. So I do look forward to catching you then. Uh, but that'll do it for this video. I'm really happy the way things have turned out. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are of it. And uh, let me know if 150 is a fair price. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for tuning into this one. Bye.